It's like the stool gave birth and popped this out. Ah. It's just too cute. I love it. All right. So um, I know I'm not on the screen yet, but I will be. So we're doing a video on what we got at Brimfield Flea Market. You lot know that we went about uh, three weeks ago. No, hold on. Yeah, I don't know. A month ago. By the time this video goes up, it's probably going to be that. Um, and... Oh, look. Hi everyone, now you can I can see, see myself. <laughs> I just switched the viewfinder around. Hello. All right, so we're going to show you basically what we got. So, it's a mixture of decor, home stuff, as well as fashion. So the decor is mostly, mostly downstairs, so we'll do that first. All right, so we're going to start with this tablecloth. Leave my stuff alone. We're going to start with a tablecloth. Um, we call it a tablecloth because, I mean, it's actually a rug, but... I think it's a runner actually. Right, call it a runner. Yeah, but I love the colours of it so much that I want to... Well, really the pattern. Yeah, it. it's so muted, it's very neutral, and I love that kind of two-tone look of it. It's got accents of light blue. It's really pretty. It looks global. It has that kind of vibe to it. Um, it doesn't look like something that's from it this is, country. It is global. Where's it from? Africa. This piece? Yes. All of his pieces were. From that guy. You know, yeah. I'm not like this guy. No, that's the same this, guy. No, it's not. This isn't. Where did this one come from? This one came from, sorry, this one came from, remember um, where we got this? It's the same guy. Remember, he was very quiet at the, the, the top of the market. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah. You anyway, okay. it still looks sorry. global to us. <laughs> yes. And it's just stunning. I love it. Love it so much. And it's, yeah, it's reversible well, in oh, my opinion. Yes. And this is not part of it. This is a different. Yes, sorry. This is a different runner that I got when we were in Saint Bart's. Bart's. Yeah, we got that smaller runner. And I Michael believe this fell is, in love with it. This is from Africa for sure. Right. It's really nice. Hold on. Let's see if I can lift this up a bit so you can see. Yeah. And this one, it supposedly can hang vertically. Right. We have it on the center of the table as a runner. So I'm gonna twist and roll it up. That way you can see just this by itself. Right. This is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and like I said, I just love how neutral it is. And I thought it just looked really nice on the table, on this kind of rustic Actually, table you know that we it have. It does have like an Aztec look to it. It does. It really does. It's gorgeous. I really like it. And I could easily see it even on the kitchen. But I don't know. I just love it here. I like to use things differently to how they're supposed to be used and that applies to anything when it comes to decor because it's really about you bought it so it's your home you use it how you want but i love this on it let's put it back i think this really adds just to add another layer to it and obviously you can change this up throughout the year in terms of like put this on don't put different colors on top of it so and i think that's the same with um, rugs as well anyway we also got moving on so we got, one Pendleton there. we got one Pendleton blanket here. And we have another one here. Gorgeous. And yes. these were a bargain. When I say bargain, they were still for Pendleton because Pendleton is usually quite expensive and we scored both of these. Look how good, look at this, look at the tan. The pattern on them really nice. I like the blue. Stunning. God, it reminds me of my coat, my Aztec coat. The blue is a nice, I like the blue better, but they're both yeah, really nice. Yeah, they're gorgeous. I love both of them and it's a blanket, so you use it however you want. Um, I love to, like I said before in other videos, just make your home feel cozy, especially at this time of the year. So these can be put anywhere. It's a blanket. You can put it on yourself when you're watching TV. Who's watching Squid Games, by the way? Comment That's below. So strange. Comment below if you're watching Squid Games, because this is like the perfect thing to like, you know, be like this. <laughs> Why are you watching? Green light. I just laugh. Green light. Red light. Red light. Stop it, don't give it away. Ah. Anyway, so yeah, that's that. So we got those two, and then. <laughs> it's, quite, it's quite comical. I'm actually sitting on. Yeah, this is another rug. Yeah, look at so this. So she's using it on the bench. It's from the same guy that we got this, by the way. And I'm just using it on the bench. And I just really love that. Look at the color, look at the, the pattern on it, it's just stunning. I love this. I don't know where I'll actually, actually end up living, like putting it where it's gonna live. But for now, I've just draped it over the bench because we have two chairs on one side of the table and a bench on the other. And I've just draped it over the bench because I just love the way it looks like that. And I think that's a really cool idea if you guys have like a bench too on one side of the table, just to take like a, a small rug and to just drape it on it. I think that's really cool. Even like a Pendleton 
Like this could be draped on just part of it. How funny is that? <laughs> the doorbell rings has, again. Somebody at the door. Okay, I gotta stop this. All right, so next up, we got from this, an African seller who sells incredible amount of African pieces. We got actually three pieces. I thought it was two. Oh yeah, there's the other one over there. So this blanket. Yes, let's hold it up. Again, we just love the style of the it. The pattern of it was really cool. The pattern is just great. So there's this. Oh, it's, really, yeah. it's really big. I can see this going over the dining table as well. <gasps> really? Yeah. Let me just see. Let's see. And then take the runner and go down the middle of it. Uh, right, because it's black and white. <gasps> right! That would look cool. Different. What do you guys think? Anyway. So that's really cool. So also, I like that it's black and white because um, it's very neutral. We have um, an off-white sofa in our living room and I like the contrast of just adding something really strong and bold like this, just draped over like the off-white sofa as well. So I love that as a look. You can also drape it over the foot of a bed if you want. Um, <laughs> You could drape it like this. We could do this vibe with Michael and right and just belt it, just cinch, just cinch, cinch in the waist here. Who are you laughing at? See, we've already put it on, so might as well go with the whole hog. So just cinch in the waist here, belt it, guys, girls, whoever. Just belt this and look how good. This just emphasizes your waistline. Yeah. Layer my waistline. <laughs> <laughs> so there's that. Next up from him is this. Oh, this incredible store. Here, I'm gonna put it right here. It's so cool. Look at this. Fantastic. I'm gonna hold the end of the table down over here because it's gonna <laughs> it's, tip over. This is about as solid as it gets. It's amazing. It's a stunning. I love this piece. Yeah. We use this um, in front of the chair in the, in the living chair. room, mm -hmm. and I love sitting on this, just like putting my shoes on. And yeah. then of course, when you, it, it's a footstool when you're in the chair but it's just a great accent piece. It is, and you could put it, because it's an accent piece, this can go in any room. Yeah. You know, you decide, like later on, like in the room at the top of the stairs, once it's been done up, this could be an accent in that room. And it could double as a, as a, like a little seat for somebody if exactly. you have a, a group of people you in the living room. You need someone to like, just need an extra seat. Yeah. This is such a cool one. It looks beautiful just as it is in terms of like the shape of it. Yeah. So, and I love how dark it is and just the chunkiness. Oh, it's the chunk for me. And then, this. This is a little baby version almost in a way. Right here. Look how cool that is. But he said Look. this is a headrest. Yes. So when the guys are out farming and they want to take a break under a tree, they use that to lay down and rest their head on. I'll demonstrate. Wait there. Oh my god. You see? Yeah, yeah. Alright. So you lay down. Like that. On your this on your head. Not on your neck. Yeah, on your head. On your head. Oh, it's actually cool. Comfortable. <laughs> you said it was though, you said it was actually comfortable. Surprisingly, because it's... You, you said it's quite comfortable. Try it. Okay, you should on. give it a shot. Wait. I'll put it down for you, just lay down. Just lay down. Hold yeah, on, you have to scoot. Back, I know, but scoot further down. So. Yeah, I know, I'm just going to bend my legs. Yep. Ready? That's it. Not bad, right? <sighs> It's actually pretty cool. So just look up or just relax, just rest. It is a good resting <laughs> tool, actually. I'm telling you, these it guys is. are clever. Good! I tell it's something you. a little small like this. Tiny. But it's an awesome little piece. We have it in the kitchen right now, but yeah. it, this thing has been almost everywhere in the house. Yeah. We've had it on the coffee table, we've had it in the kitchen, we've had it on yeah. side tables. <laughs> This, you can put this in the bathroom, put, put soap on it. Anywhere. Um, like just this put a hand towel on it. Function, put so it next to your sink, which is where it currently is at the moment. And just put anything on it, whether it's like, like I said, soap, or you could put just anything, a sponge, anything you want. It's up to you. Because it's just so, it's just cute. It's like the stool gave birth and popped this out. Ah. It's just too cute. I love it. I love it. Oh, <laughs> this is nice. So, I like this. Yeah. Right so we've got that as well. Oh, and then grab the massive pillow. So we got an accent pillow as well. Not from him, okay? This, this is, is the ultimate else. pillow for pillow fights. Yeah. Do you know why? Don't, because it's very heavy. <laughs> I'll go flying. It's very heavy, this particular one. 
It is a very heavy pillow, but the I design. love the color of this. The yeah. color, the pattern. I love that it's like not symmetrical, that it's very mm -hmm. different. Um, it feels very handmade. It does. And Jesus, this thing's heavy. It is. It's I'm very telling you, it's heavy. heavy. We couldn't get two. We have a king bed, and this is perfect. It's just one thing to just accent, accent in the middle. Yeah, which and is stunning. It. I love it. It's beautiful. Oh, you, know what I got? you can just hold it this way as well. No, but not on the bed. No. God, this thing is so heavy. I know it is. It's really yeah. pillow fight. No. <laughs> Great piece, though. Again, yes. just everything Michael said. We just love the design of it. It's choppable. You know, it's just, choppable. It's just perfect. It's just really What's good. What's up with this choppable? I don't know. It just, I don't know, it just gives the impression. So if you have something like that, it's fine. But when you do that, it suddenly gives that impression of oh, so this is probably it has used? quality filling in it. <laughs> it's used. Yeah, it's used. But okay. it looks cool. Used. Yes, I like it. It's cool. <laughs> All right, okay, ready? Moving the, on. This is one of the last. This is the last decor piece before we do fashion. I saw this from a distance, and I looked at it, and the first thing I said is, "Karen, I like that rug." Yeah, I've actually still got the time. And I wanted you. Take it all. I wanted you to put this in the studio because I really think this would be a great rug for the studio. Right, it's color. Yeah, just a nice pop of this. color. I mean, look at it; it's beautiful. The design is re the design is gorgeous on it. Um, it's just really simple. You could even reverse it. As well, it's a bit plainer on yeah, this side. Yeah, it's kind of muted down. But it's still really nice, see? So it has it a actually raw... actually looks nice on this side. It's eh? just a very raw look to yeah, it. Yeah, I love that. Fine. I like that flexibility and the versatility. But, or you can have this side but, instead. I think this is the side, the ultimate side. Which side do you prefer? I like the natural Do you prefer side. Michael's side or do you prefer the other side? <laughs> the plainer side. I don't think it really matters. I think it just depends on what, just what you like. But um, I put it on this in the studio. And it looks a bit too bright because you know us. You know, middle of my sofa, the Victorian sofa, is like blue. So. But orange and blue is the perfect complementary colors. Oh, someone needs their own YouTube channel. No. So you could. But what you just said, that listen to the way. It's true. Isn't it true the way he just said that? Wasn't that like a, a YouTuber? Well, I know that from design. That's all. But anyway, orange and blue. I know he's trying to deflect. I'm trying to see if he'll have his own YouTube channel, but no. you're gonna get people commenting now. YouTube channel for Michael. No. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so got this, and this was the yes. last decor piece. So we got a lot of textiles, a lot of rugs. Oh, as you, can you know see. what we're missing? What? I'll be right back. <gasps> oh yes! Forgot. Completely forgot. And then after this, I will take you upstairs, and I'll show you the pieces that I got. Like. Fashion-wise, because they have a mixture of decor and like clothing as well there. So we haven't put them on yet. No. But these are pillowcases. Cushion covers, I call them. All right, cushion covers. She's correct. They're not pillowcases. <laughs> but anyway, I love these, mm -hmm. and I said to Karen, we have to get them. Yeah, they came in different colors. This is from the same seller as yeah, where we got this. this and that giant pillow, the accent yes. pillow. Same guys. It's plain on this side. Um, so this is all like what? a trim around Morocco? the edge. Um, she said where it was from. I think it is Morocco, because Morocco is a place that I've always wanted to go, and she started talking about yeah. Morocco and what it's but like. Just and... so well made. Yeah, I show them the front so they can these. see properly. Yeah. So the front. This is nice. Really, really nice. The back, but just the quality. Yeah. It really is. It's really nice. And it's just a nice way to just switch up your current um, covers right now with your cushions so just to add again if you just want to add accent or color during the fall when things are like get a bit deeper richer mm -hmm. you know it's darker outside and you just want to be like cozy notice there's like a ton of patterns here there's tons a lot oh my god look at this <laughs> you love those pendletons there's so much god there's so much pattern went from like flat colors to like patterns pattern everywhere. overload and even the black and white one but it's good so though because we have a white couch so yeah, you can it's a blank any, slate. Yeah, you can put it's like a canvas. You just put anything you Correct. want on it and it changes the vibe and of the feel. whole room actually. Yeah. Um, you could take that big pillow and put it right in the middle, in the middle of, the, of the sofa. In the middle of the sofa. And it would look stunning. That's a good point. While we're watching Squid Games. Really? <laughs> anyway, so that's it. That's the Michael and Karen part. 
um, going through the decor. It's good stuff, man. We did, yeah, we did good. Brentfield is massive. It's in Massachusetts. They have their market every like three times a year. If you Google Brentfield, Massachusetts, it will come up. You'll see all the information about them. It's one of the America's largest outdoor flea markets. Anyway, so um, we didn't do any furniture. We did no furniture. We didn't see anything. Oh, the shopping boards! Uh oh. I'll get them. Hold on. Hold on. We can't both disappear. Okay. <laughs> I'm back. Oh my god! I can't believe I forgot the flipping shopping boards. As soon as we said furniture. This is from the same place where we got this, the covers and the rug. I picked up two massive chopping boards and they sit just behind um, our cooker, the stove. This is called Bad Girl. And, um, Bad Girl. Ow! God, that's, that's actually... Oh, you're going to like it. <laughs> <laughs> so we got these two chopping boards and I just like the, the, the shape of them. I like that one is smaller, so I just have them like this. And it's, it's that, it's functional because any splashbacks from any cooking, it's really just to protect the, the brick style subway tiling that we've got. I just like if this is sort of gets the brunt of the cooking. They're already worn in and rustic looking, so you don't have to worry about spoiling them. And they're great, I love them. And you can also later on, obviously use them during the summertime as like uh, food plates, cheese board plates, you know, just anything later on. And That's a lot of cheese on that plate. If you pizza! Pizza, I would put pizza on there and you can cut that it That is a good idea, I like that. There you go. So I think these are great. Um, you can also find balls like this on Etsy as well, I so I'll link to them below. Brilliant. Do you? <gasps> oh, Patty! Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, there's more than one pizza that I like. <laughs> All right, so that is the end of the decor, what we got at Broomfield. Um, yeah, that's it. Michael's gonna disappear now. Watch, I'm gonna disappear. No. <laughs> Okay, so I'm upstairs and I picked up a couple of things because Winfield has like fashion stuff, like I said, lots of clothing. I picked up this padded, um, quilted, sorry, jacket. It's like a kind of bomber kind of shape to it. And it comes with a matching pant, which I really loved. This together was sold as a set. It was just hanging up there. And I was like, oh, there was only one of it. And I thought, if that doesn't fit, obviously I have no other option. But I thought it just looked like it would fit me. So I didn't, I don't think I even tried this on because I was wearing trousers and it's like, he didn't have a, um, like a fitting room or anything. It's just like an outside stall. So I just kind of eyeballed this, these pants. And then I thought, yeah, I reckon these will work. And then um, I tried the jacket bit on and I loved it. I just like the color. It's like a kind of like a, like a dark olive green brown, chocolate brown. That's probably the best way to describe it. So I got those two and the set together is, um, let me see, like, I think it was $60 for the set. I know, 60, right, 60 for, for the set. Not like for that or that, for both together. I was like, when you said that, I was like, sold, sold. Cause I don't think there was a price on it either, which goes to show that I wasn't just like, had like sales goggles on. I actually really liked it. I think someone's car's being towed right now, but you know what, sod it. I don't have much light, so I'm just gonna keep talking. Let's just keep cracking on, shall we? So yeah, so I got that, really like it. I'll show you how it looks on me in the cutaways. Um, Cause I've already worn it like with my boots, like combat boots and I like it. And it looks great worn like separately as well, like this, which is like my cargo pants looks so good together so yeah i'm really glad i got this and this whole quilted vibe is everything 60 dollars for the set for the set it's like it's not unheard of these days i've got this suede suede orange midi skirt i love this it's so simple it's as as usual it's coming out a bit darker it's actually like kind of that shade so it stands really far back there you go that's the real shade of it <laughs> the closer i get the more blown out it kind of it's not that blown out in person so it's a nice rich orange color it's in mint condition there's no rips stains holes nothing front and back i love the paneling the seaming on it it's really nice it goes like oh the paneling is great because it goes like at that angle and that angle and straight down and there and there it's really nice um this looks so good i've already yeah i've actually worn it already i actually wore it with my orange leather trench yeah, I know, I went like full out. But this is gonna look so pretty, like all my, my cream sweaters, right? Like my cream jumpers, like these, like cable knits. I like just put that with that. That 
with this. It's just a really good combination together. So it's not, I love it. So got that. Um, I also like the idea of wearing it with like the chocolate browns as well. I think it's got really nice. Um, I could even wear like the quilted um, jacket. I could see that even working with it. And just wear a pair of like dark boots as well. Love that! See? It's just that combo together. And just a pair of dark boots. And just got your bag and you're just like, oh, it's all wrapped up. It's really nice. And I would normally never buy something like this. The price tag is actually still on it. $65. $65. Can't believe it. There you go. 60. Let me, see, let me show you there. Just believe me, it's 65. My nails look like crap. Let me see. Let's see how good this camera is. It's probably like crap. My nails are so bad. Anyway, 65. It is 65. Just take my word for it you can't see it. And just, yeah, ignore my nails. They look like really bad. But great. I love that it's nice and long. It drops down to like my calf muscle, which is perfect because I can wear this with like tall boots and just like a chunky knit, you know, long trench coats on top. It's going to look really, really nice. So this is a great piece. I love the idea of wearing this with every color. It doesn't have to really be black too. Just any other dark colors, any other like just navies. This is like just a point, like anything like with um, anything orange, I think works with like navies. It works with any shades of brown, especially like deeper browns, chocolate browns, uh, tan browns. Just really nice. And even like bottle greens look good with this. I can just see that now. Oh, it looks so good. Anyway, you know what I mean? So I think, I think that's it. So the bulk of this video, for a change, was not about fashion. It was actually just about like home decor stuff. So you saw all that from downstairs. Um, but that is it. That is what we picked up from Brimfield. So I hope you liked that. Um, I promised I was going to show you what we got and this is it. So give this video a thumbs up if you got some inspo on, you know, just decor for your own home actually. Just what you're thinking of, like just to make it cozier. So I'm really looking forward to us playing around with like all those textiles that we got and just moving them around in the different rooms and just saying, oh, oh, I like it there. Oh no, it looks really good there. Let's leave it there. You know what I mean? Like just playing around. I think that's so cool. Again, just Google Brimfield, uh, Massachusetts, and you can get all the information. Brimfield Flea Market, Massachusetts. Um, I believe they have an Instagram as well. If they do, I'll have it on the screen. But yeah, loved it. As always, you can follow me on my Instagram, Karen Britchick. I'll leave it on the screen here. Same name as my YouTube. Keep it nice and simple. I'm done. Talk to you later. See you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>